When you purchase network cable, you can only assume you're getting what you paid for. But is that a valid assumption? The performance claims on a manufacturer's data sheet certainly look good. But do you know how the electrical performance data was derived? Are they reporting real performance? That is, how the cable performs when it's in the laboratory under ideal conditions? Or is it real performance? The cable's true performance after it's been installed in your network. The fact is, most cable manufacturers derive their cable performance numbers in the lab. The lab is an environment where all outside factors are controlled, allowing the cable to perform at its very best. This kind of testing is valuable for finding out what your cable can do in a pristine environment, but not what it will do under actual real-world conditions. That great performance you see on the data sheet can translate to real-world performance problems like delays and downtime performance problems you shouldn't have to experience. Belden means installable performance. Belden bonded pair networking cable is different. Belden gives you installable performance. Performance you can trust day after day, year after year. That's because Belden designs, manufactures, and tests cable for real world performance. So the performance you're buying on the real is the performance you get once the cable is in your wall. Why does performance change when the cable goes from the laboratory to the field? You may not have ever thought about it, but a cable's electrical performance characteristics can all be affected by installation stresses that occur when the cable gets pulled through walls and bent around corners. Cable loops can form kinks coming right off the reel, and even more kinks when the cable is pulled into place within the wall. Simply coiling the cable can change the internal relationships among the conductors of an unbonded pair, which can negatively affect cable performance. And that could even mean that the cable fails during installation testing and must be pulled out of the wall and replaced. A costly and time-consuming proposition. Or even worse, it could mean network problems now and in the years ahead, when the need for speed and performance is even greater. Why exactly is installable performance so crucial? And how does an installation alter the electrical characteristics of some cable? It's all a matter of design. This is Belden's patented bonded pair cable, with the conductors of the twisted pairs actually bonded together along their longitudinal axes. This patented design gives this cable many performance advantages over unbonded pair cable. The beauty of the bonded pair that Belden provides the customer is that it, it keeps the pair together during the entire installation process. When unbonded pair cables are produced, however, the spacing between the conductors, or the cable centricity, can vary. With an unbonded pair cable, gaps can form under the normal stresses of installation. All of these problems can lead to poor electrical performance. It doesn't matter if it's on the reel, or off the reel, or in the wall, or shoved behind the computer. Whatever performance that you paid for it from the factory is what you get when it's installed. This chart shows the impedance of a cable pair in its initial unmanipulated state. Now let's take a look at what can happen to an unbonded pair cable's electrical performance when it's bent. As you can see, one result of the bending is fluctuating impedance. Impedance should be maintained at 100 ohms plus or minus a narrow tolerance across the specified data frequency range. This cable will also experience some signal loss due to reflections or return loss. As the cable's return loss performance degrades, your network's overall efficiency can be seriously affected. And this is particularly critical to applications such as gigabit ethernet, where data is being both transmitted and received simultaneously on each cable pair. Poor return loss performance can lead to excessive bit error rates that, at best, sap productivity and, at worst, cause delays in downtime. Gaps can also cause your cable to be more susceptible to electrical noise interference such as crosstalk. Crosstalk is a measure of signal coupling from one or more pairs into another pair. When a signal is transmitted down a pair, it radiates noise or crosstalk onto the other pairs. This electrical noise can interfere with the smooth transmission of data on your network. The beauty of Belden bonded pair cable 
is that none of these important electrical characteristics are affected by the installation. The conductor to conductor spacing or centricity of the bonded pair cable is consistent along the entire length of the pair. This ensures consistent electrical cable performance that is superior to unbonded pair constructions. Because the conductors of a bonded pair are bonded, the cable's initial performance is superior. Gaps are not able to form during installation, regardless of how the cable is pulled, twisted, or bent. Belded bonded pair cable maintains a tight impedance characteristic centered at 100 ohms. There is also almost no return loss degradation after installation. The message is clear. When it comes to cable performance, design makes all the difference in the world. Belded bonded pair cables are designed to have the same performance both before and after installation. That's what installable performance is all about. Cable manufacturers determine their cable's performance specifications from on the real data. That is, the cable is tested prior to installation. There's nothing wrong with this kind of testing. It does give you a true and accurate picture of what the cable can do under ideal conditions. But conditions in the field are never ideal. Even the simplest network installations involve a lot of pulling, kinking, twisting, bending, and looping. If you could see through your walls, you'd see that your networking cable went through a series of stress points before arriving at the workstations. These stress points can occur in multiple places along the cabling run and can seriously undermine an unbonded pair cable's performance. That's why Belden has tested its bonded pair cables not only under ideal conditions, but also under conditions that simulate these stresses. We call it installable performance. What it means is that the electrical characteristics of belded bonded pair cable demonstrate minimal change after installation. The performance you see on a Belden datasheet will mirror the performance you get when you put the network to work. How can we be sure? Belden has put its bonded pair network cable through grueling tests at their prestigious networking interoperability lab and then verified this testing through Underwriters Laboratories. Underwriters Laboratories, UL, is a not-for-profit public safety testing company and certification company that has been in business for over 100 years and we are the leader in this type of testing in the United States. Underrace Laboratories is not only involved in end product testing but also component testing and certification of manufacturer's quality systems. Underrace Laboratories has been involved in performance testing since 1984. Underrace Laboratories has been involved in testing twisted pair cable since 1991. UL is also involved in standards development. We participate in the TIA EIA committee and we participate in NEMA and also ASTM to help industry develop these standards. Our assignment today, commissioned by Belden, is to run a series of Category 6 and 5E tests on cable from Belden and other manufacturers. UL obtains samples randomly through distribution to eliminate any potential bias. Two separate tests were conducted on each manufacturer's cable sample. For these tests, we use standard test methodology by pulling a 328-foot sample directly off the reel and connecting the pairs to a network analyzer. The cable is then subjected to the standard tests as indicated in the TIA, EIA, Category 6, and 5E standards, extrapolated to 350 MHz. Belden then asked us to extend the test process by adding a service loop consisting of approximately 15 feet of cable and inserting about 18 inches of cable into a standard telecommunications outlet box as it would be performed in the field. The samples were then retested in this configuration. What were the results? Let's take a look at the performance graphs of two key electrical performance characteristics, impedance and return loss, of an industry-leading Category 6 unbonded pair cable. These graphs show worst pair performance both initially, right off the reel, and once installed, after the service loop and the outlet box were added to the test process. We adhered to all installation practices specified in TIA EIA 568B documents. If you recall our earlier discussion, the impedance of this cable should hug the 100 ohm mark in both the initial off the reel and the installed state. But instead we see some wild fluctuations and the return loss chart shows a degradation of more than 7 decibels between the initial and the installed state.
Dramatizing this point further, the return loss graph shows some after installation CAT6 spec failures. And when we look at the return loss margin chart, we see that the customer paid for this level of performance. However, they realized this level. In this case, the customer did not get the performance they paid for. Now, here's the Belden bonded pair worst pair impedance charts for two Belden CAT6 cables, Data Twist 600E and Media Twist. These charts show consistent 100 ohm performance in both the initial and installed states. And the return loss charts show exceptional performance with little change between the initial and installed states. The return loss margin charts demonstrate the extremely consistent performance of bonded pair cables and their ability to far exceed the Category 6 specifications both before and after installation. So, the Belden bonded pair cables exceeded industry specifications both right off the reel and once they were installed. But the unbonded pair cables didn't fare so well, showing particularly poor performance after being subjected to typical installation stresses. So, we return to our original question. When you purchase cable, are you necessarily getting what you paid for? If you're buying Belden bonded pair cables, you are, because only Belden provides installable performance. However, the testing conducted at UL demonstrates that with unbonded pair cables, you may not be. Belden bonded pair cables simply makes sense. We have set a whole new standard for superior performance and a precedent for cabling with confidence. We call it installable performance. You'll call it your best choice for network cabling.